Swimming World TV here with Riley Scott from Marin Pirates. Already day two of the Far Westerns Championships. Let's go back to day number one. You had that 200 breaststroke and you came out the champion of your 13, 14 age group. In the prelims, you were 222 and you brought it down to a 218 in the finals. Were you pleased with that swim? I definitely was, yeah. It was a really good swim for me. It was. What did you do different from prelims to finals? Um, I went out fast. I definitely went out faster and I tried to keep my pace going through the whole race and not change the pace and keep it going fast. Now we saw you a couple weeks ago at the Junior Nationals in Orlando. So why don't we talk about a few more of your races to come up and then cross check that with juniors. So you had the 200 IM today yeah. and you made it back tonight in finals. What is your goal for the 2 IM tonight? Um, tonight I'm trying to go at 207. I have a 208 um, now in my 200 IM so I'm trying to get a best time there. Just go 207. As a breaststroker do you really focus on that third 50 breaststroke or Definitely. what is what is your strategy? Um, I'm you know, I'm not so good at the backstroke, so I definitely work the backstroke and the fly. And then uh, for the breaststroke, I just try to catch up with everyone and hold it on the freestyle. So are you usually a little bit behind going into that breaststroke yeah, leg? I mean, usually I'm behind from the backstroke, but I'm trying to work my backstroke so that I'm up with everyone in the breaststroke so that I can just go ahead in the breaststroke. So. Good. And you have your 100 breaststroke uh, the day after, so you're more of a 200 breaststroker, correct? Mm -hmm. So how is that going to help set you up for your 100 breast? Um, I'm just trying to keep the keep get my pace up early, so I, because I don't have as much time in the two, in the 100 as the 200. So I'm just trying to keep, get my pace up as quickly as I can. So like I said before, you were in juniors a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty long taper. Yeah. So how are you feeling in the water since were you fully tapered for juniors? Yeah. And I, I shaved and tapered for juniors. I didn't shave for this meet, but I am wearing a fast suit. The, I usually do well on long tapers, so I'm in the past I've done really well, so I'm doing well here. Good. And what did you do training-wise in between juniors and Far Western since you had about a three-week period? Yeah, I took a, about two days off, and then I just did some some medium workouts and then I just did a few taper days the two days before Far Western. Good. And how are your times comparing so far? Um, they're a little bit off but that's it's okay with me because uh, juniors was a much bigger meet for me. So. And you had a considerable time drop. Definitely. In your 200 breast at least yes. it was three second drop yeah. so right around the same time. Yeah. How does the Far Westerns meet feel compared to juniors since we have two different elite meets in the in the club field. Yeah, I mean, juniors was definitely really fun, and it was fun to be kind of the underdog there, but it's also really fun to be on top of everyone and have people trying to be as fast as you at this meet. Great. Well, you're doing a great job so far. Congrats on that 200 breast victory, and we look forward to your IM and breaststroke. Thank you. Thank you.